Doug Darlene, since the start of this investigation, many people have been quick to blame Reed, even criticizing her. Yet this new report found she was actually following firearm safety protocols, but it was a different story for the company. Hannah Gutierrez Reed was in charge of securing guns on the set of Rust. She was often called young and inexperienced. She was just expressing like any young person going into the industry, getting in, that she's got some nerves, but that doesn't mean she's not capable of doing the job in a big way. But this latest report from the state's Occupational Health and Safety Bureau says Reed was sounding the alarm, worried about gun safety on set and calling for more training. Like this text exchange between her and a line producer after two accidental firings were reported. Reed saying, hey, we're on day eight of Armor Day. So if there's gunfire after this, you may want to talk to the producers. The line producer then responding, no more trading days. Training days, Reed asked, like training Alec and such, replies the producer. Well, that's really interesting because in the, in the mind of the state investigators, that shows that the company was trying to uh, have her do, do less work on the more, the more serious issue, which was the guns. Reed is the daughter of Hollywood armorer Thel Reed. She spoke about her passion in this podcast a month before the shooting. I think the best part about my job is just showing people who are normally kind of freaked out by guns, like how safe they can be and how yeah. they're not really problematic unless put in the wrong hands. KOAT legal expert John Day says with the new findings, charges are imminent. It's going to be pretty hard now for, I think, for the district attorney to not file some type of criminal charge when we've seen it's basically intentional corporate negligence. Now, according to her attorneys, Reed has reached out to OSHA to provide input on improving safety standards on set. Doug?